what's up everybody it's your girl something flavor welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this trendy fuzzy bag that i've been seeing all over the place and we're going to make it with proper lining plus a pocket for our phone so if you'd like to learn just keep on watching Okay, so the materials that we need is just a fuzzy blanket and it doesn't have to be a big one and some fabric for our lining. I opened up my blanket fabric and I folded it in half and I took my ruler and I measured an 11 inch by 11 inch square. The reason I made it that size is because I just personally like smaller purses. But if you would like to make yours bigger, you can. You can measure a bigger square or a rectangle. You can really do whatever you'd like. And just take your scissors and cut that out. Then we're gonna take the fabric for our lining and we're going to use the fuzzy outside fabric as the template to cut out the inside lining so that we have equal pieces. While we have all our layers of fabric on top of each other, we're just going to cut two squares on the two bottom corners. And I just folded my fabric in half just so that I would be able to cut two equal sized squares on each side. Next, I wanted to make a phone pocket for the inside of the purse. So I took my ruler and I just measured a rectangle that was 8 inches by 6 inches so that it would be able to fit my phone. And I just cut that out on double layered fabric. The last thing we need to cut out now are the straps. Now, I personally like really long straps. I normally use a satchel in my everyday life. Um, so I'm making these straps really long as well. I made them about 14 inches long and I'm cutting on a fold so it's going to be even longer. And then about four inches thick because they do get folded in half. And I just cut that out. Once that first strap was cut out, then I used it as my template to cut out the second one. And at this point, now we have all of our pieces cut out, our fuzzy outside piece, our lining, our pocket, and our two straps. To start assembling, I'm going to take our fuzzy fabric and align them right sides facing together and stitch down the sides and down the bottom. For this and for the majority of this whole project, um, I did use a zigzag stitch just because I did want my edges to be really locked in and this is a thicker fabric. Once that's all sewn, then we also put our lining right sides facing together, but in my case that was either side. And we're going to sew down the two sides and down the bottom just like we did with the fuzzy fabric. So now we're going to work on those two little squares that we had put in each of the corners. So what we're going to do is you're going to take it and align the two sides together, pin them down, and sew horizontally. And we're going to do that on each side. And I know right now it's a little hard to see, but I'm going to give you a closer look in just a second. Open up the inside so that you can see the little like diamond shape. And then close the two ends shut open up that seam and just sew horizontally right across there. And once the lining is done, we're just going to do the same thing to the outside fuzzy piece. 
just get those corners shut on the side, pin them, and then sew and do that to each side. Now we're going to work on our pocket. We're going to sew a straight stitch all around the perimeter of the pocket. Except for we're not going to finish it off. We're going to leave a little bit of room, just enough to fit a couple fingers through so that we can flip the pocket right side out. Here I am just flipping the pocket to the right side. And then we're just going to top stitch the hole that we left. We're going to attach the pocket to the inside lining. So make sure that the lining is facing right sides out and attach the pocket with a straight stitch going all the way around the side, the bottom, and then up the other side. And when you're doing this, just be conscious of not sewing the lining shut together. So make sure you keep adjusting that back piece. And this is what the pocket looks like when it's attached. Now we're gonna work on the straps. So what we're gonna do is we're going to flip the straps and flip them in half so that the right sides are facing together. Pin them down and then we're going to be sewing straight stitches down each one. Once both of the straps are attached, we're going to take them and turn them inside out so now they will be facing the right way. And now we are almost at the finish line. We just have to get everything attached together now. So we're going to take our lining and flip it so that the wrong side is facing out. And then we're going to take our fuzzy fabric and flip that so the right side is facing out. And we're going to place the fuzzy fabric on the inside of our lining. Then we're going to take the side seams, match them up, and pin them down really well. And now comes the tricky part. We're going to take our straps and we're going to put it inside of the lining and we're going to put it in between the lining and the fuzzy fabric and pin both of the sides down closest to the edge of the purse, closer to our side seams. And we're going to be doing this to the both sides. So how I have my strap laid out in the beginning is how you're going to put it inside of your purse. And you know you're doing this right if you cannot see your straps. If your straps are hidden, then you're in the clear. But if you could see your straps like this, if they're sticking out, then this is the wrong way. Stop now and make sure you can't see your straps. This is how they should look. And then we're going to take the purse and sew completely around the whole top of it. We're not going to leave any spaces. We're going to completely sew the whole thing shut. Once we sewed around the whole top of the purse, then we're going to take our seam ripper and just rip a little hole only in the lining part of the purse. So we could take that and then flip our purse right sides out. Once the lining is exposed, we're just going to top stitch the little hole that we have made. And 
lastly, we're just going to put the lining on the inside of the purse. And boom, we are all done. I really, really, really like this bag. It's really cute and it's really, really soft and fuzzy on the outside. Plus, it's customized to me, so I'm able to fit my phone in the phone pocket and my wallet, which is all I really like to carry around. And here I am holding and wearing it so you get an idea of how it fits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If you want to see me make something, also just leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and click the bell so you get notified every time I post. Thank you guys so much for watching.